Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed night wherever you at all over the world. Praise God. Praise God. Especially those that are on the fast. Today is the 21st day. I did not want to, excuse me, I did not want to let the day slide away without getting up on here and actually encouraging you. And I'm coming, if you see my title, it says, it's a very simple title, but very powerful. God has not forgotten about you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I know that this has been a rough time for a lot of people. You know, people like to I call it fake the funk. And yes, I said it like that. People like to perpetrate like they're not going through anything. We all know somebody that's going through something. As a matter of fact, when we look in the mirror, we see a person that may be going through. Yes, you're growing, but you're going through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I just want to get up on here tonight and encourage you because I felt the Lord said, I have not forgotten about you. That's a word for somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know sometimes you feel like giving up. I know sometimes things are just not adding up. I know you said, God, I've prayed. I've done everything within my power. What am I to do? God says, just stand, stand and just wait. He says, stand and be patient. He, you got to understand you have to stay in faith. You have to stay in faith. The enemy will try to make you believe like God has forgotten about you and that this is not going to happen. And that's not going to happen. And you're not who God said, Oh, come on somebody. It's just it's just a smoke screen. As a matter of fact, you know what fear is? And that's what he's operating off of these days. The enemy is solely operating on fear. Fear to go to the store. Fear that somebody going to do you something. Fear of this. Fear of that. Fear that you're going to catch this. Fear that this is going to happen. Which is actually false evidence appearing real. It's not even real. It may be true, but it's not fact. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, whose report will you believe? Yes, it may be a fact, but that ain't truth. Because Jesus Christ came. And he redeemed and he said that, guess what? Well, if you should just believe, you should receive. Come on, somebody. He said, faith is a mustard seed. You know how small a mustard seed is? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I want to read you this scripture right quick. It is out of Psalm 9. And it says, and it's verse 18. For the needy should not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor should not perish forever. I'm going to read that again. That's coming out of Psalm 9, verse 18. 18 for the needy should not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor should not perish forever. That means, guess what? Your time is coming. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. I think, and, and as a matter of fact, I know, you know what some people, why some people give up because it doesn't happen in the time that you believe it should happen. If God is God and the Bible say, if let God be God and every man a liar, that's everybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If God have said it, if he have spoken, if he have showed it to you, then all you have to do is stand man, man of God, stand woman of God, prepare yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't you dare give up. Don't give out. Don't give in. I don't care how it looks. I don't care how it feels. And most of it is emotional feeling. I'm talking about it'll look like you're defeated. It, it, and people will tell you that you're defeated. Oh, come on, somebody. But I'm telling you right now, if you just have faith like a mustard seed, if you just hang on to that word. And let me tell you something. You ain't got to move and where everybody know your next move. Move in silence. But here's the deal. All you need is one. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, if any two shall touch and agree, you ain't got to tell everybody your business. All you need is one person. One person. One person that you know that love you. One person that you know that pray for you. One person that you know that agree with you. That's all you need. And let me tell you something. God will do it just like he said it. All you have to do is wait and stand and watch the salvation of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get up on here and encourage you. And as it says in Psalms, that's why David wrote Psalms. It was to encourage himself. You may not have a cheering squad. You may just have to encourage yourself. You know, every other month, well, I try to do it. I, I write me a new vision board. And I, I'm going to read some things off of my vision board because I want to encourage. I call it a power board. Well, this is what I have on it. I did it on July 26th. I have that date on there. And I have new vision board. And I have in parentheses power board. And I'm going to read to you everything that's on my board, okay? It says, I will achieve my goals. And then I wrote, good things are supposed to happen to me. You have to speak that thing. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Then I wrote, I will never be 
B R O K E. I don't even say that word. Y'all can say I'm crazy if you want. I, I don't say that word. I don't receive that in my spirit because you got to understand death and life are in the power of the tongue. So I have that. I will never be that B road again. <laughs> uh, I have do not procrastinate. Do not be lazy. That means, you know, sometimes you're tired and you can't read that word. You say, oh God, I'm tired. You got to read that word. You got to push. And then I have, um, what I have. Do not pro- finish my um finish tasks that God have assigned me to do, and smile, Deanna. Pray, Deanna. Have faith, Deanna. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself, and that's not crazy. Come on, somebody, Hallelujah! You have to understand that you have to see that thing, you know. Um, and if you follow me, I've been doing vision board since 2012. That's what broke. I'm talking about. I started seeing. Okay, when I was going through the abuse and I was my marriage was ending. That's how I, I started believing again. God said, get up and do a vision board. I had never heard of a vision board. And I got on that vision board and everything that God made me put, I promise you, it came to pass like five years later. Yeah, notice what I said, five years later. So it's it's about it's not about your timing, excuse me. It's about God's timing. You just know that if God said it, you know, it may have taken me that long to walk in whatever, but everything on that vision board, I promise you it came to pass. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you tonight. Be encouraged. Walk in love. I also have that on there too. Walk in love with everyone. I know people can be just, you know what, but you got to walk in love with people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to watch what you say. You got to be mindful. You got to be thankful. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I just wanted to give you a word. I pray that you are still fasting. You know, um, I'm quite busy, so I don't get on here all the time, but I definitely, I'm still, I'm still on the fast. I'm still with the cause. You know, I know it's not easy. You guys, this is the 21st day, actually 22nd day, excuse me. So I pray that you continue to just, just, you know, hold on, be strong, get in your word, pray, pray, and pray. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.